There is a question here, and it goes thus. In the light of provocation by non-Muslims on the internet or any form of social media, especially blasphemous insults, how should the Muslims react? As far as the reaction of the Muslims is concerned for any blasphemous act, whether on the internet, whether on the media, how should they react? And I feel that you should follow the guidelines of the Quran and the Sunnah. As far as I'm concerned, we find sometimes the Muslims are emotional and they go against the Quran and the Sunnah. And the best example I like to give you that what happened in the Danish cartoons. We know that a few years back in Denmark, there were people who produced some cartoons of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the full Muslim Ummah was angry and inside we should get angry. I'm not against it. But how should we react is important. Many of actions that we took, we started burning the cars, we made a protest which was violent, we started abusing, we started burning down properties, we started violence, this is all against the Quran and Sunnah. What I believe I've given a speech only on this issue, that how should we deal with the issue when someone does blasphemy against the Prophet or against Islam. And I gave that we should follow six strategies. And I put the example of the Danish cartoons that they mention obscene things about the Prophet, how should we react? Number one should be what happens normally that all the Muslim organization, whatever work they're doing, we get so agitated, we leave everything and we protest. So suppose I'm doing 100 point work, organization B is doing 100 point work, organization C is doing 100 point work. We leave everything and we go to the issue. And instead of 100 points, we are doing two point work only. So all our activities stop. What I believe there should be specialized organization which cater to handle these things. Specialized. So that the other Muslim can support, but they should not stop their work which is promoting peace. So normally when Muslims get so emotional, we stop our positive action and protest. We should protest, but we should not stop our positive action. We should have specialized Muslim organization to deal with certain issues. And I've given six strategies how this thing can be dealt. Number one is there should be lawyers, international battery of lawyers. We see to it that they should file a case against these issues in the international court. We should have a battery of international lawyers, the best from different parts of the world, and file a case against whether it be Salman Rajdi, whether it be Taslima Nasreen, whether it be Danish cartoon. File a case in the international court. I know the chances of us winning is less. But when you file a case, even they'll be asked to come there. And once we file a professional case, there are chances we'll win, there are chances we'll not win. But see to it that the person is brought to task. We should have specialized battery of international lawyers. Point number two, there should be an intellectual reply to it. Strategy number two, whatever he has said, instead of violent protests, there should be an intellectual reply to it, whatever he has said. There should be an intellectual reply to Salman Rajdi's satanic verses. Intellectual reply to Tasima Nasrin's Lajja. Intellectual reply to the Danish cartoons. Number three, there should be a political protest. The embassies in that country should protest. For example, if it took place in Denmark, all the Muslim countries which have embassy in Denmark, they should protest officially. That we disagree with it, take action against it, whether it works or not. Fourth, if possible, if there can be an embargo, if we can ban those products, if it's going to be beneficial, we can ban those products, and it may be a loss. For example, Denmark wasn't willing to listen to the Muslims. When all the Gulf countries got together and said, okay, from now onwards, we will not import any goods from Denmark. They went in a loss of a billion dollars. The moment they came across the table, we want to talk to you. They had an embargo, we will not import any products from Denmark. Immediately, there was a loss of more than a billion dollars. They wanted to come and sit across the table. Now they want to listen. Why? So if you know that if there's going to be a banning, an embargo of products, if it's going to be beneficial, do it. If it's not, no. Like in India. In India, if I ban the products of Denmark, it will not be much beneficial because Denmark's products to Muslim Indians is very little. But Denmark to the Muslim and Gulf countries is phenomenal. If it's not going to benefit, don't ban it. If it's going to be an economical threat to the enemy, then do it. The fifth, we should be on the media. We should utilize the media to reply to all these allegations and all these blasphemous things. Use the media, television, radio broadcast station, internet. See to it that 
we give reply on intellectual level. And the last and the sixth is there should be a peaceful protest. There can be a mass gathering, maybe of 10,000 people, 100,000 people, 1 million people, but it should be peaceful. It should not be violent. You should not break the property of that country. You should not throw stones at others. It should be a peaceful protest and show the strength that we all are united against the blasphemous track. Inshallah, this will get results and this will earn sawab for us. Hope that answers the question. Thank you.